is Sunday, October 4, and tomorrow, on my mom's birthday, Grandma Kathy's birthday, I will be 23 weeks pregnant. So we're just going to go ahead and say I'm 23 weeks pregnant, because for all intents and purposes, I am. So, I haven't updated since, I think I was about 18 and a half weeks when we found out what she was, and kind of a lot has happened since then, um, so we'll just kind of get right into it. Um, I have kind of have had been feeling since we found out what she was that I needed to figure out what we're going to do with the nursery and I kind of started nesting. So that next week after we found out, I made Tim take me to Toys R Us at night to go, or Babies R Us at night, um, whatever, it's all the same, to go look at bedding because I was looking at bedding online and all this stuff and I wanted to see this bedding at Toys R Us. Babies are, what? Just stop shaking your head at me. Who cares? It's all the same. Okay, so I wanted to go see, see I'm pregnant, see I can be mean. So I wanted to see this bedding, if I could get this sentence out without you shaking your head. Because it was on clearance online, so I wanted to see if I liked it, to see if our store had any, and I called first and they did, and then buy it if I liked it. Because it looked like if I got the bedding, we could get away without painting the room, because I didn't really want to paint this room. I'm not like in love with the color of the room, but I didn't, I hate the smell of paint and smells have been bothering me so much that I just not want to live in the same house with a freshly painted room being pregnant because that just ugh, grosses me out, that whole smell. So we went to Babies R Us and I liked the bedding so we got it and it totally looks like we're not going to have to paint the room. The bedding will work with the room just fine and we got a different day bed cover for the bed that goes better with um, the bedding that we just got. And anyway, we really like it. So I'll just kind of show it to you. I don't know if you can get this on the camera, okay? But it has um, like cranberry color, light pink, ivory, and just a couple different um, shades of like sage green. So this should go just fine with the walls and whatnot. So anyway, so that's what we did. Those people are gonna ask, tell them that it's the Babies R Us Angelica Nursery Collection by whoever made it. Oh. Show, show the label for everybody to see. Because right we, now it's on the... Oh, uh, are you filming it right now? Yeah. Okay, so this is um, the Kokolo baby oh. thing. Oh. Is, um, wow, and that was Tim sneezing. And it's the Angelica Nursery Collection, if you're interested. But it's been on clearance because, I, I don't know, evidently they're just continuing it or something. So it was really cheap and we got a really good price. And so that's what we got. So that has been, that has been fun getting that. So that was all my idea, going to Babies R Us to deal with that. And the next week... Um, Grandma and Grandpa, Steve and Kathy wanted to buy the baby a crib and mattress to sleep in so the baby would have a place to come when it got home. And Tim decided, after they like they sent us a money to go get that, um, that we needed to go right away and do it. And I was just kind of like, because I was kind of over my nesting thing at the time, I'm like, okay, because he was all gung-ho to do it. So we went to Babies R Us. We ordered our crib, which is so stinking cute. It's um, by Baby Italia, and it's the East Side Cherry, I think, is or Cherry East End or something like that. And it's really cute. Um, and we ordered that. It was 10% off, which was awesome because they were having a furniture sale. And the mattress, which we found a coupon for at the register, was 15% off. And it's really funny right now because Baby Daddy's motioning me that I'm wrong, but I'm totally right. So anyway. So the mattress was 15% off. So we brought the mattress home that night and we got a Simmons Beautyrest mattress because we sleep on a Beautyrest. So we figured our princess should sleep on a Beautyrest as well. And we're hoping that will make her be in a good mood all the time. So we'll see if that works. So we had to wait. It was like seven to 14 days for the crib. And they called us when it came in and we went to pick it up. And the box was labeled something completely different than Baby Italia, because we were assuming the box would say that. But because we've done a lot of reading and research on things, we know that a lot of these crib makers for different companies use different names and this and that. So depending maybe where they got it from, you know, maybe it was labeled right, it was just different company name, whatever, however that works. And so Tim asked about that. Tim's like, um, this isn't Baby Italia, is this the right crib? And they're like, yes, 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 it is. And they're like, see, there's a sticker with your name on it. And we're like, well, you could have put that sticker on any box, you know. And they're like, no, 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 it's the right thing. And there was another sticker next to it that was a separate sticker that said the Cherry East End or East Side Classic Crib, whatever. And the box looked a little bit beat up, but we're like, okay. So we took it home. And I helped him carry it up the stairs. And let me tell you, oh my word, that box was huge. And it was so hard to carry up the stairs. So I was like 
holding it from underneath and like kind of supporting it with my belly a little bit, which was probably bad. And then it was really tall. So I was holding it with my head going up the stairs. It was so hard. And we got it upstairs and just left it because this was at nighttime. And we didn't have time to deal with it. So we just left it. We were going to set it up maybe later that week. This was, I think, last week or two weeks ago. And my back since that had hurt for two days. Oh my word. I was in so much pain. And anyway, after my back kind of stopped hurting, Tim was working nights and I was home alone. I was like, well, I may as well open the crib and look at it because I was all excited that we had it because it's really cute. And I opened it and it was not only completely gouged out, like we wouldn't have wanted the crib anyway because the wood was completely ruined, but it was the wrong crib like we had said, hello. So I was so flippin' irritated. So Babies R Us was still open, so I called them and I told them what had happened. And um, they told me they would order me a new crib, the right crib, right away, and that we'd get 15% off for our troubles, which I was like, okay. But still completely irritated because those people over there are just, they're driving me nuts. So um, we just got a call last night that our crib is in. So that took like a week or less than a week for us to get the new crib, which was nice. So we're gonna take this old one there today and get the new one, but we're gonna be smart this time. We're gonna open the new one before we leave and make sure it's the right crib and make sure it's not completely gouged out before we load it in the truck and come home. But luckily I won't have to load it this time, which is awesome because Tim just remembered that he has kind of like a hand truck kind of thing. It's his thing that he uses to carry sheetrock, yeah, sheetrock, yeah, from his truck to the shop. It's like a what did you call it? It's called a panel carrier. A panel carrier. Anyway, it works for cribs. Awesome. So she I don't Rock know. is a brand. She rocks whatever. Drywall. Drywall. Plywood. She rock, same thing. Plywood. Whatever. Like stuff that I don't I have to, to carry know. Panels. This is stuff that I don't need to know anything about, which is great. So anyway, apparently that works for cribs. So like my little He-Man over there in the corner is gonna totally be carrying that stuff up and down, so I don't have to deal with it. So that's good. So after we film this video, we we're gonna pick up the crib and we'll let you know if it's the right one. Now Tim is pointing to his fingers and I'm not sure why. Because your fingernails are like the best they've oh, ever been in my your goodness. life. Thank you. Okay, so this is this is important. See, I'm glad you're here. So, um, like over the past three weeks, my fingernails have started growing, like I don't know if you can see, but just profusely. I mean, it's insane. They keep growing, 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 and I have to file them like every two days, but they're not breaking. My fingernails always break and I can never keep them long and keep them nice, but they are just like absolutely amazing right now. It looks like I have a French manicure, but those are my nails. So this is like the best benefit of pregnancy ever. Um, I've been waiting and waiting for the wonderful, glorious pregnancy hair. Cause you're supposed to have like this thick, luscious, soft, smooth hair, blah, 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 whatever. My hair is completely frizzy and I have to flat iron it to get the frizz out and use a bunch of product to make it all good. So um, anyway, the nails are the best part for me. So thank you for remembering that, honey, because that's very important. So, oh, and another new thing that's happened. So since that whole crib thing, bringing the crib upstairs or whatnot, it was like the day after that, or maybe it was even that night, I kind of started noticing I was getting Braxton Hicks contractions. And I knew that that could happen around this time or whatever, but it wasn't, it's not uncomfortable and it only has happened a couple times, not a big deal, but it just feels different than the baby moving. It's like a little bit of tightening here or there, but totally not a big deal. And, um, the baby moves around quite a bit. She doesn't seem as hyper as I was once thinking that she was, which is kind of nice. So hopefully she'll carry on that kind of a little more mellow personality. But she kind of moves on a schedule. It's pretty predictable. At certain times of day, I'll be like, oh, there she is, there she is. And I'll kind of know when she's going to start um, moving. But Tim hasn't felt her yet, so I'm hoping within the next couple weeks he'll be able to feel her. I think I felt her from the outside, but of course I can feel her from the inside. So I don't know, maybe that's cheating. Maybe I'm really not feeling her. But anyway, so that's really neat to like kind of feel her more because now she's getting bigger. She supposedly weighs over a pound now, which is very exciting.